Chichi, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing you another great edition of Black Ops 2 for me to you, because that's what I do. Ground War, Domination, 9v9, using the 5.56. Now, this is pre-patch uh, gameplay. Now, I wanted to talk about this. Now, I had said that you know, they put in there as a patch Sway. You know, Sway... The only thing they give all the assault rifles is sway for longer distance shots, which is irrelevant to the effect of probably 0.25% in your total KDR versus uh, other weapons like snipers. I mean, I would like to have seen sniper ADSing reduced by 500 milliseconds and mobility increased by 10%. That would have made it fair, but that didn't happen so now you have to think in the terms of okay you know they looked at the videos I mean it, they didn't look at the data because nobody's been posting uh, SMR videos or type 25 videos I, I will do a I'm going to do videos of how to get around all the nerfs in this latest patch I mean realistically looking at the SMGs and what they've nerfed all you have to do is think about Modern Warfare 2. How did you use the SMGs in Modern Warfare 2? It's really simple. Uh, I think I've already covered that right now. Uh, you want to reduce recoil when aiming down the sights with the SMG. So you're talking grip. Uh, you know, stock for from side to side while moving down. It's the same thing as shooting off the hip you know and shooting at somebody it's just you have to aim down the sights now and going from left to right and you'll still have the same type it doesn't matter so I will do those videos on how to cure the SMG woes and some of the some of the nerfs in the SMGs but I wanted to talk about the assault rifles and how you would deal with one shot sniper kills to the wherever situations in long range battles now you know that they're going to nerf the these two particular weapons. Now I'm I going to say that the 5.56 with the selector and automatic fire was a great find. It was a great weapon to use. I thought it was great on par with SMG gameplay. And I don't know. I don't know why they nerfed it. Because like nobody's using this weapon and nobody's using the selector. So the only thing I could think of is that they're watching my videos. That's it. What else are you watching? What other data do, do people are using? It's very, very small. I don't see how that could be a... Why would you nerf the fire? It's, it's... Who's talking about it? I'm the only one that's talking about it. So I don't, I don't see where the data could prove that. Anyways, regardless... I want to talk about the assault rifles and how you need to change your position from the nerfs. Now they totally nerfed the XMA. I don't know why. I don't have a clue. Because to me the weapon was all over the place in the first place. Who cares? So I like I said in my earlier videos, just moved to the type 25. Same damn weapon. You know, you scavenger, you're fine. Now as far as the fail is concerned with the burst fire and the selector switch and changing in general. Now, this being said. I have not tested the, the patch because the patch is not out for the Xbox. For all I know, it probably made it better for my situation. Who knows until you really test it out. But what I can say based on the paper in front of us or whatever, the notes that we see, Friendly UAV I can inbound. say that, you know, okay, well, if you want to nerf the fail, I'll just move to the SMR. The SMR is a little bit less ammo. I think a little bit more powerful but has a little bit more recoil so regardless it doesn't matter just move to the SMR if you're using the fail that solves that problem if you have the X8 move there the only thing is I mean I thought the 556 with the automatic selector switch was a great find now I didn't see them need to nerf that nobody was using it other than my videos that I was posting so I, I would highly suggest that now as far as rushing with the SMGs I think that uh, you could still do it with a uh, combination of attachments 
You just have to think of the mindset of playing Modern Warfare 2, which mostly all the weapons in that game had the ADS. So, you know, we will see, because in most of these patches that uh, Treyarch does in the past, they weren't very strong, so you didn't see much of a difference, and people still complained about it. So we'll see. Now, and people were asking me, why didn't you mention, how come you didn't mention, you know, about theater? Well, I put the link in the description below in the last video, which talks about theater. Now, you want, you're, nobody's going to see these things take effect until a majority of the people download it, and then it goes active. So there you can see it from there. Now, as far as the shotgun goes, I mean, I don't understand what the the nerf was. I mean, what the significance was. I mean, all the shotguns are terrible. And to nerf the only shotgun that doesn't shoot really fast is even even more terrible. And I mean, like what what is it what's the purpose of putting five shotgun slot classes in the game if you're going to make every single shotgun, you know, completely terrible to the fact that I have to be within knifing range of you for them to work. What's the point? And then the LMGs, I mean, nobody uses them because the mobility is like 90 or 85% of the total speed of everybody else, which the snipers should be at that mobility. But there's no sniper decrease ability. Uh, like I said, I tweeted to, to Treyarch and David Vonderhaar and Dan Bunning. I was like, you know, you guys forgot two nerfs on the snipers. One is the, the 500 millisecond delay on ADSing. And two, uh, the mobility should be increased by 10%. I mean, de decreased by 10%. You know, because if you're nerfing all the assault rifles and, and adding just sway reduce in an assault rifle. What does that mean? What does that say? Oh, well, it means I'm going to post up more and just sit and aim down the sights with a target finder because my rifle's not swaying, so I know I'm going to kill you now. That's what that means. And you're going to have to use a lot more smoke to get to these people who are camping in positions of lockdown or whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. There's going to be... I mean, I will do videos post-patch to help you guys get through all of this. I mean, if you don't have somebody in the trenches every day playing the game and they can recognize the changes immediately immediately like I do, you you know, you don't have to worry about it cuz I'll go in in there and I'll show you different setups. I think that now that um you know, SMGs have been nerfed off the hip. I'm going to test out a couple of things that can help that situation. And you will see those videos in the future. I mean, I think the 5.56 five, is okay. You know, we're whittling down these assault rifles to like, okay, there's only a couple assault rifles that are worth using. You know, you totally destroy the X8. The M27 is garbage. It's damage. It's pathetic. And then, and then you got the, you got the, what do you got left? You got the Type 25. The fail recoil has been increased. So now you got the Type 25, the SMR, and the SCAR, and the um, and the AK-47 or the N the N the AN-94. What I can say is that more people will be using the SCAR with less sway recoil, long range. I don't know how that's going to affect it, if plus or minus, but I'm going to check that out. But I'm definitely going to say that the, the AN is going to be a more significant AR in this game uh, when it comes down to it at the end of the day. We just haven't seen it yet because people, it's a last unlock. And like most people who enjoy this game, they prestige to the end. So you don't get to see too much videos of that. You got a lot of these guys who five-star generals who are just stuck on SMG gameplay. You know, and it's boring, but... Anyway, we'll get past that now. We're gonna do vault. You know, we're gonna get into um, a lot more different combinations. It's good to have patches. It's good to have patches so that you can do different things over and over and over again and come up with different combinations. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Pre-patch 78-1. Bye bye. Five five six. No longer. Until next time. It's your boy Fist. Peace. I'm out.